Hello, 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 hello. I am here. I am about to go live. As you can see, I'm doing hibachi style cooking guys tonight. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to be walking around and talking. So, my voice may sound a little far away because I'm multitasking over here. So, as you can see, I have my hibachi grills up. I did a little prep work that's what took me so long to get started. So, I'm going to give it a few minutes for everybody to get in here. Let me set my computer right here. And see my live one is watching, which is probably me. Oh, what's up, Snoopy Eats? Hey, Soft. Hey, East. Not sure if you guys are still here or not, because it's showing me only uh, one person's watching. I'm gonna fix this camera a little bit better than it is. Okay, so I have my grills here. This one is not on yet. Hey, Ish, hey, Soft. Glad you guys came. I don't think I'm going to use my two grills. I think I'm only going to use one. So, guys, what I'm doing tonight is I'm going to do some pork yacht. I'm going to over here, but over here where you can't see. I have some wheat noodles that I got cooking that I'm going to put in here. And I cut up, I had pork chops that I already pre-cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them on the grill in a few minutes. And then meanwhile, while that is cooking and my noodles are cooking, I am going to be I'm going to be slicing up some salad. So yes, guys. Feel free to check because until I get over there to see. Like I said, I'm moving around in the kitchen, so Yeah, I'm moving around the kitchen, so. Woo. <clears throat> you may not see me. Okay. So, guys, tell me, did um, did it show up? Did it did it show up saying I was live? Before now. See, guys, see my. I'm here. So guys, let's let's just chat a little bit. Let's just chat a little bit, guys. So I got a couple of things I want to talk about tonight. And let's pull this up. Let's cut this one. You can't see it, but I'm using this one. I'm going to move it all the way there so you can see. talk about a little something guys so I got my griddle here on which I'll say my lovely sister I gave her this griddle and then she gave it back because I thought something was wrong with my other griddle but it actually wasn't guys I like to just put a little bit of oil on the griddle because I don't like it to just stick so much I'm going to use my wooden Spoon and kind of like just put this all over the place. So soft, did you see? 
Okay. Okay, so I just... It's just us, guys, but I'm still going to keep on doing this live. Yeah, so let me tell you what happened, Ish. I thought something was wrong with it because it kept cutting off. I thought it was a shortage in it. But lo and behold, you know what was wrong with it? Me. It actually... It actually... When the temperature gets to a certain level, what it does is it shuts it off. So I thought it was broken, but really... There's nothing wrong with it. But the one that she gave me is bigger, as you can see. So, yeah, that's what actually happened. So, guys, this is pork pieces that I cut from off of pork chops on the bone. Because I'm going to make pork yak, but I'm going to do it hibachi style. So y'all can see me actually making it, as you can see. You are not doing so good. Boo, no, I'm not. I had to figure it out, Shy. I did not know what I was freaking doing. Alright guys, I'm going to move this other griddle because I'm not using that one. I don't need it. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Slide this up. This is crazy because... it up and so you can see me what I'm the other things I'm doing welcome 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 <laughs> hello my bang terminator hello Marty coolie girls world how are you so okay this is the this is the pork right now because I'm doing hibachi style so the reason why I moved that up, hopefully I thought that you guys would be able to see, but you may not. I'm going to be cutting up some vegetables now. Nope, there's no worries, Cordy girl. I know how life is. Life happens. We'll we'll get together. We'll we'll talk. But guys, I wanted to talk about a couple of things tonight. This is a couple of people in the room wondering while I'm cooking. As you can see, the, the griddle is on. I'm doing hibachi style. I am making pork yak, guys, tonight. That's one of my faves. I like to make it quick and easy. Hey, Val. And um, right now, you can't see, really... I'm going to have to fix my camera so y'all can see me cutting up the... Well, I guess you need to see that. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things while I'm cooking. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these onions up. And I'm going to also put them on the griddle. And then, I'm going to cut up salad. So guys, I cleaned the, the, the uh, pork chops off. There was actually pork chops on the bone. And what I did was just cut them off of the bone, right? Cut them off the bone in pieces, as you can, uh, like you see here, and put them on a grill. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is what I'm doing. So, guys, tonight I wanted to talk about some 
a little topic that kind of been on my mind lately. And I just want to hear... I'm going to have to pull this back up, guys. This is too far away from me. Hey, Lee. I'm going to mix this up here while this is cooking. And, um, guys, I just wanted to, I just had a couple little topics to talk about. Um, one in particular, like I said, that was kind of on my mind lately. And it was just some decisions I had to make with some kind of life choices. And I just wanted to see what you guys think about it. Now, as you see, I'm putting the onions on. Now, a lot of people don't know what pork yak is. Basically, all it is is noodles, pork meat, chopped up like the way you see. And onions. Now, if you probably live in a city, you probably are familiar with pork yacht. Well, at least the city I grew up in. I grew up in Camden City. So, in Camden City, which probably, I don't know how many other cities, maybe New York, just like the area of Delaware, you may be familiar. Chinese stores sell it. So, yeah. So I'm gonna say that to say, look. Hi, um, LA Green. How are you? I was on your channel today and I saw that you're doing like some promotional stuff. Guys, if you don't know LA Green, if you don't know Curly Girls World, if you don't know Val, if you don't know Mutt Bang Terminator, you need to go check out these guys' channels and get to know them. Hi, Omar. So, guys, what I'm doing tonight is making pork yak kibachi style on my griddle. And I already have the noodles cooking on the stove. If you don't know what pork yak is, it's just noodles with soy sauce. Basically, a soy sauce-based um, gravy with onions and pork meat. So, if you don't like pork meat, you probably won't like this thing. But you can interchange that with uh, and put chicken or beef or whatever you like but traditionally it's pork yak and that's what i like because i like pork um i'm not ashamed to say that i like pork um personally i feel like pork gets a bad rap but if you don't have blood pressure issues or if you to me even if you do if you do it in moderation you usually are fine you know pork gets a bad rap a lot where nobody likes to focus on how bad beef really is and how it doesn't digest and how long it takes to pass through your system. But pork gets the bad rap. But anywho, guys, I'm going to dive into this conversation. So lately I've been going through, I don't know, I guess a, some type of change of age, I guess. I don't know how to call it. But I've been thinking a whole lot about you know certain things that i do now as you can see you can't really see my nails i'm going to take my nails off i don't know if you guys know but i usually have my nails done and they are they were my real nails but i broke a nail so i had to take it off blah 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 but the other thing is my hair if you guys know you you've done seen me plenty of times um i have locks in my hair so every once in a while i'm a 44 year young woman and i have gray hair right so my question to you guys is number one do you guys have gray and and how do you guys feel about it hi miss t how are you doing lee i'm not 43 i am 43 you said 43 ursi like that's the wrong age I am 43. I turned 44 in December. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so guys, I just, I've been kind of like going back and forth about it over the years. Um, I, I, if you guys have seen my mom, and I'm sure you have, you saw that on plenty of month bangs. She has gray. She has a good amount of gray. Yeah, Val. Yeah, coolie girls, bro. So, again, I, I feel comfortable because a lot of you guys are close to my age and understand, like, how I feel. And like you said, Miss T, 
because you was probably 33. Now, guys, look. Now, for me, I was great in my 20s. I started getting gray. I had like one strand in the front of my head when I was probably around high level. How are you? I wish I am not a chef. I am just a home cook level. But thanks for the offer. Okay, guys, so probably when I was around 15, I noticed that I had one, I used to have one strand in the top of my head. If you guys ever see like my videos, you see um, I have a patch of gray in the, in the, in the uh, top of my head. And uh, of course, when you're 15, 16 and you see a gray hair, it doesn't mean anything to you because you're so young, you're a kid, and it means nothing to you because you're worried about other things like boys and that kind of stuff. So you don't really care so much about, you know gray when i got to my 20s it started to be more but the way my gray grew in like i said if you ever seen my mom she has gray and she gray young also really i never heard it that it was good luck but i never felt any way about it guys until it seemed like maybe recently i've been kind of not feeling so bad about it but just kind of like coming to a grips because I have what is called like uh real like real resistant gray and it comes out really white. If you ever see my mom, her gray is white. It's not like yellow like some people. It comes in pure white and comes in like that from the roots. So my only thing about the gray is it it wasn't coming in really nice. Like some people gray comes in where it comes in sporadic, where it comes in throughout your hair. So if you see my hair and I pull it down towards my face. You can see the gray in the roots. If I pull it up like in a ponytail, you really probably don't see it, but just like really on the edges. But as I'm getting older, it's filling in more, you know? <laughs> Val, you be cracking me up. Let me tell you, and we're going to talk about that too, Val, because that's, that's something too. And I thought that it was because I was taking biotin pills. And in case you guys don't know, biotin pills are like, a vitamin that you take for hair and nails but i'm gonna finish talking about this great and then we're gonna get back to that valve i'm not gonna forget because that's the issue as well so lately i just been seeing a lot of changes and i feel like sometime maybe i don't know since i've been on youtube you know there's a lot of different age of people on here and sometimes you can feel a certain type of way not toward anyone but maybe with yourself because you know you're getting older your hair is gray and you feel like maybe you should dye it and you have to keep up the pace or you have to keep up some certain look or some certain standard and i have a husband so you know you don't want him to get uninterested and to start to see like this older lady even though he doesn't never make me feel that way that's not what i'm saying but it's just my own personal feelings i've been feeling lately so each month which i only twist my hair once a month so once a month, I wash it, do all the stuff I do to it, twist it up. And usually I dye it if it needs to be dyed. Or sometimes if I'm not doing much, I just leave it because I don't like to dye it. Because the reason why, not the reason why, but I went to a natural state and stopped perming my hair. And so I really want to, the only thing I do to my hair now is dye it. Now granted, I'm a person who loves dye. I just like color. I like red. I like the the blonde. I like to switch it up. It's just that's just what I always liked. I like hair. I do hair. I, I'm into hair, so I like coloring. That's the thing that I like. So, needless to say, anyway, I've been feeling some kind of way about what do I want to do? Do I want to keep my gray? Do I want to get rid of my gray? And guess what, guys? Lately, it's been in the last year. I feel like it's been more of a battle. I have this one, um, it's been a battle. Every, it's, it seemed like now, every four weeks, I almost need to dye my hair. So number one, for me, that kind of goes against, usually I would dye my hair twice a year. Yeah, 
yeah so you know it's like a it's like a better with this gray now as you can see with my mom she kind of said she was leaning more to just leaving it alone you know i'm gonna be honest guys i'm a stay-at-home mom so i don't have to go to work because i feel like if i was at a job it would probably be harder for me to transition or be comfortable where i'm at hair is everything to me my hair is a part of my expression of who i am and the thing of it is i just wanted to look nice now my real natural color is brown but it's a dusty sandy like color brown so starting off the rip i just don't like my hair color so i always want to dye it just because it's just i hate the color brown that it is so i always dyed it so put some type of dye in it but now i'm coming to the place where i'm getting to the place where i'm just like you know what i'm i'm i'm, I'm getting fed up with fighting and bet on we're trying to suppress this gray like i said if i pull my hair away from my face you see more of the gray. When I pull it out, let it hang down, you really don't notice it as much. But as I'm getting older, I just don't want the hair hanging in my face. I don't want to know my neck. So I tend to like styles that's off of my face, which means that I have to show the gray. So I say all this stuff to say, I'm coming to grips where guys, I just came to the point where I'm just not going to dye my hair no more. I purchased some dye. I've been going back and forth. What should I do? What should not do it? And my husband is like, you know what? You know, I don't even know why you do it. I like the gray. But guys, we know the reality of this. When you're a woman, gray signifies you're old. When you're a man and you gray, you're distinguished, you're handsome. You're just a distinguished older man. And it's like more on a positive side. Where we know, hey, Teddy, where we know that it's not the same for women as it is for men gray. Hey, Luffy. So for me, I've been kind of like going back and forth with, you know, should I really just go into the gray and just don't care about it anymore and stop worrying about worrying about it? Or should I just keep dying? And so I just been going back and forth. And I just decided, you know what? The type of gray that I have is so very resistant. It's hard to maintain it. Like I would have to literally dye my hair every four weeks. Because of course, I want my hair to grow. So my hair is constantly growing. And my gray comes mainly from the roots. So for as soon as I dye it, the roots... Oh, thank you so much, uh, L.A. Green. And you know what, guys? I mean, I've been kind of really, like, tossing, going back and forth, like, uh, you know. I just really want to feel comfortable with myself. But also, I want to be healthy, too. I don't want... I'm getting older, so as we all know, it's not just a thing for Caucasian women. It's for black women as well. Our hair thins out as we get older. Go ahead, Val. <laughs> Val, I really like you. I, I really love the things that you say like in the comments. In, in case everybody didn't see, I'm sure everybody did see, Val said... She came to grips two years ago, and she just came to turn. She's cute with it, and she's going to save that money and use it for jewelry. You're right. And my husband said that. So all week, so I'm going to do a video where I talk about it and show my hair, which what I decided to do with it. And you know what, Miss T, that's probably easier because you never really was in, you never really dyed your hair. And plus, Miss T, you have dark hair. Like, your hair is like a black color. So, if gray comes in it, it just looks really pretty. But, like, my hair is brown. So, I was like, oh, and I hated my color of my hair. So, it's probably 
nothing really to do with gray, but I didn't like my hair color, so I dyed it. But I fell in love with red, and I like to switch it up and be different. And, you know, when you're young, that's good. But as I get older, I had to change some things, like priming my hair. It was years and years before I realized that having a perm, I was doing as much work with a perm as I was doing without a perm. So, you know, in a way it was kind of like, why do I even have a perm? I'm pressing my hair with a perm. I might as well just not even have it. So, yeah, guys, so that was my decision. Now, when it comes down to the nails, now, I'm not ready for my nails. I love having nails. I actually really grow my own nails. My real natural nails really grow long. I always put acrylic on them because... Also, Miss T saying this. Yeah, I am 1B. And I got a lot of compliments on my hair. And that's why I keep it braided. Because in the shops... The only ones know. Oh, I understand that. I am cooking, Luffy. Luffy, you see the food? I'm cooking. I'm just talking while I'm cooking. <laughs> so, I'm sitting here making pork yak, but while the pork yak is cooking, while the pork yak is cooking, I am talking about deciding about my gray and really just talking about the decision I made to just go totally just let it go gray and just leave it because the thing of it is guys the issue that comes up is the issue that comes up is I have locks in my hair now so it's not like I can cut it out so I have to start to transition to side and let the gray come in and mix into my hair because that's the way it's growing. And just let it grow that way and let the, I'm gonna have to do some kind of stripping down the color to make it so it's not a bunch of different colors. So with that being said, that was my whole dilemma, my whole conversation I wanted to speak about. In the meanwhile, guys, I don't want to forget, I did want to do hibachi style. As you can see, I am doing hibachi style with the um pork now like i said before people a lot of people don't like pork i don't see what's so bad about pork if you eat it in moderation it's no different to me than beef or any other meat um i had issues with blood pressure at one point in time in my life i don't have it anymore but i do be mindful and i am mindful of it i don't try to get back in that space with having to take medication or anything but um yeah so what i'm doing here is just making some pork yak if you don't know what pork yak is pork yak is a chinese dish with noodles onions and pork you can make beef yak you can make chicken yak it's up to you you can always interchange it. Or you can just have plain yak without no meat. Because I know Teddy and Lucy, you guys don't, you guys are like vegan. And I think it's some kind of vegan noodle that you guys use. So, guys, I'm checking my noodles right now if my noodles are done. And I have some noodles that I'm cooking up. And here. Yeah. much all that was really saying you know I'm, I'm glad you guys gave feedback on how you feel about the grade because you know I know I'm not the only one who feel the way I feel about it a lot of women a lot of women constantly dye their hair and you know I know women who say they don't care what they're going to continue to dye their hair no matter what and I just feel like I don't want to keep fighting against Father Time. I feel like it's more important things to talk about or to be worried about than worried about some great hair. It's kind of like where I'm at with it, you know? So. 
So that's kind of like my stance on it. Like I said, I got my noodles over here. That I put. Yeah, guys, I'm going to try to do some. I'm going to try to do live. Um, more lives, but I don't know how you guys feel about lives. Lives are exhausting to me. Kind of like having a party. You got to get ready. You got to get dressed up. You got to be prepared for it. And... Yeah. So as you can see, guys, this is cooking up here pretty good. I'm losing my meat. It's falling down here in this little space. So basically, like, what I'm going to do is, once this is done, I'm going to put it all in the pot. You see these onions is cooking up here too. Ouch. I'm about to burn myself trying to get these onions on this. I have like a little drain thing down here and it's the food is falling down in it. So we cooking this up here. I'm gonna make a gravy, homemade gravy. And in the meanwhile, so guys, then, so while I, my noodles, I made wheat noodles. Oh, you missed the breakfast one? Let me tell you, this griddle right here, Luffy, this griddle is $20. You can get, this is the Hamilton Beach griddle, which I partially had to tuck around the other way. This is the Hamilton Beach griddle. You can get that at Walmart anywhere for $20. And if you go like on, um, if you go like on Black Friday, you might get it cheaper, even cheaper. So Val is saying, I have an aunt whose hair is gray, like Coretta DeVille. She went natural, cut her hair, cut her hair, half of fro, half of her fro is white and the other half is black. She said she loved it and will not change the thing. You know, that's awesome. That, I believe this one might have came from, um, you can get this right at Walmart. Go right in the Walmart, $20, and you got a griddle. I have two of them, like I said earlier. I thought that, um, it's like non-stick. Guys, I have like a good amount of appliances that I never used. I feel so bad because... I have a kitchen aid that just sits here in the kitchen. Um, after it took me forever to decide because I'm cheap to buy it when I finally bought it. When I finally bought it, then I decided I didn't want to do bacon. But I need to pull it out. Um, Soft Spoken was here. She had to leave, but she like she uses her uh her kitchen aid. And I really need to use my, as a, you know, KitchenAid the mixer. Okay, um, Miss T said, yeah, I got mine at Walmart. I never use it on the camera yet. I have three of them and two big ones. And I just want two big ones and a small one. Now, Luffy, I'm going to tell you this. Now, the pancakes, I don't like personally. You can make pancakes on it. You can make pancakes on it. 
but I don't like to make pancakes on it because when you make the pancakes on it, they look kind of like white looking to me. I don't like the way they look when I make the pancakes on there. So I rarely ever make pancakes on it. I like to make pancakes in the pans. I like them to be have that brown on the ends, look crunchy. But you can't make pancakes on it. Um, if you look at the live from yesterday, I made a uh, French toast on it, and I like the French toast the way it comes out on there. But not, I don't really like the pancakes on here. Now I'm gonna tell you something else that's good on here. Ooh, the bacon. When I make bacon on here, which you probably won't never be making bacon. But the bacon, the bacon is awesome on here. I use my other one that's a little bit smaller than this one. I did see one, it's like a really a hibachi one where it's like bigger than this one. And it is awesome, it's, too, it's awesome to make it, especially when you have like a big breakfast so you can cook for everybody. Again, back to what Val said, you know, I do like that. If y'all um, look at uh, some of my older videos, I do have one with my afro. When it was red, I don't understand how people have an afro because an afro was like one of the, to me, one of the hardest hairstyles to have. It is not easy to maintain and keep up an afro. It's so much preparation to an afro. At least for me, it was a lot for me trying to maintain mine. I, I didn't do that much. Yeah, the pan the pancakes and the pan are good. Oh, yes, Miss T. I love me some Bob Evans sausage. I love those sausages. Now, the other day when I was cooking, I was telling, uh, I was telling, you know, who was in the live that when I make bacon, I keep my bacon grease. I cook my, I put my bacon grease in other foods, but also I use my bacon grease to season my uh, cast iron pans and my, gr my grill, my outside grill. So what I do is I take and get the grease, I keep it, I put it in the refrigerator. Yes, yes, it makes the bacon come out good and even the sausage too. Even the links, even like the buy Evans, the round ones, like they come in that little, that little tube thing. And so when I made the food the other day, what I did was I made French toast eggs and bacon and what I did was I took some jelly melted it down on the griddle on the pan in a pot a little small little pot saucepan and poured it over some butter pecan turkey hill ice cream on top of the waffles with the bacon on the side and the eggs it was good it was delicious I need to change that picture because it just shows the bacon. I need to change that picture on there. I didn't get a chance to do it, but I need to change that picture. And yeah, it came out really, really good. Really, really good. I enjoyed it. So you guys, uh -huh, like I said, I ended up with two griddles because I thought that my griddle was having a problem, like a shortage. But really, I didn't understand and I never read the instructions. That, you know, say if you put it on 250, what it actually does is once the temperature gets to 250, and just like anything else, if you leave it heated for a certain amount of time, it's going to get hotter as long as you keep it running. So what it does is it automatically shuts it off so it can maintain that heat, which helps with mine and that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Well, you got to keep us in touch because we always say this, and we don't live that far from you guys. So definitely, if you know, I like to see your recipes and the stuff that you're doing. So, you know, keep us up to date about your, about your catering because we love food. 
<laughs> That's the truth. I always say this. If you want to get to a man's heart, that's a statement that was always made. You got to know how to cook. You want to make somebody happy, feed them. And they'll love you forever. You feed them, you'll never be able to get away from them. So, guys, while this is still cooking, I'm going to sit here and cut up. Which you're not gonna be able to see, but I'm gonna I'm cutting up cucumbers, tomatoes, and another onion. So what I do is I cut a little bit of the skin off because really all the nutrients in a cucumber is really in the skin, which is most things, but Lee doesn't like the skin. So what I do is I kind of do a half and half. Cut some of the skin off so it's not so much. Because if you have um, problems with digestion or if you have like uh, acid reflux and stuff, sometimes the skin can be a lot to digest. So I'll take some of the skin off and I'll leave some of the skin on. Personally, I love the skin. I know that's right, Val. I know that's right. When I first met my husband, he worked out a lot. And he was really into working out. And yeah. When we first got married, he started to gain weight because... Well, actually for his job, which I won't say, but... For his job is what helped him not really gain weight in that first year because... It was... It was so crazy in our first year of marriage. You know, when we got our own place, we we had so much drinks in our refrigerator. Like, if you came to our house, it was one thing for sure. We, we didn't buy no other vegetable but string beans because that's the only vegetable we like. So all we ate was string beans all the time on, on the first year we got married. We only had strawberry ice cream because we both love strawberry ice cream. And we had all different kind of flavors of drinks in the refrigerator. We had literally Kool-Aid. <laughs> and I don't know if my mom is still on here, but she probably did And you know, this is definitely what my mama said. And you know you didn't grow up. Drinking a whole bunch of Kool-Aid. No, we didn't. Good night, my love. I'll see you in the morning. Um, so we will have we will have um Kool-Aid. Oh, I lo Lee loves peach combo. Good night, my love. See you in the morning. So... As I said, my mom would say, you didn't go off drinking no bunch of Kool-Aid. My mom did not let us drink a lot of Kool-Aid. She just did not let us. We was not those kids who was like overly obsessed on Kool-Aid. Had the issue with red dye 40. No, because we did not drink it like that. And um, yeah, I like cooking. I didn't always realize that I, once I stopped working and I became a stay at home mom, I found a love for cooking. It just gives me peace. 
It helps me relax. It's it just helps me relax. It, it truly does. I I love cooking. I love the I love to feed people. I I don't like to see nobody harm. Yeah, I feel like it's. I feel like it's just like a crime to, to see somebody hungry and don't give them nothing to eat. But guys, make sure you uh, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Tweet this. Facebook it. Twitter it. Snapchat it. Share it out. Instagram it. To any and everybody that you know. Thank you guys for all the likes. Please like if you have not. And yes, guys. It was some guys in here. I know. I. Hi, job. Jay Nice or Janice. Job. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm not really showing my face today because it's about my hibachi cooking tonight. So I'm cooking. But feel free to go check out my other channels and you will see my face because my face is on everything on my channel. I'm just not showing my face today. Thank you, Cooley Girls World. I'm not showing my face today because I don't know. You got to watch the playback. But if you want to see my face, you have to go to one of my videos that are already up. And probably if you look right there, you'll see my picture on my thing. Maybe I'll show my face towards the end of the live. But I'm cooking right now and I'm cutting up my salad. So what you should say about cooking? I don't cook a lot. But I'm going to start. Yes, boo, you need to start cooking. Yes, boo, you need to start cooking. So in case you guys didn't know, Aisha King White, that is my little sister. Lee Mims, that's my husband. And Sheila King, that is my mom. These are my real live family members in here too. And then I have my YouTube fan, which is Coolie Girls World. Val, so spoken that was here. She is probably talking to her mom and saying goodnight. And... Yeah, I'm not sure who else is here. Teddy and Luffy, all my YouTube family guys. So, I don't know what we were talking about. Oh, no, I wanted to talk about something that somebody said. I feel the same way, Val. I feel the same way. Um, yes, that's what I want to talk about, what my mom said. And like I said, she was going to say this, guys, because growing up, she did not let us drink a lot of Kool-Aid. And what did she say in her comment? You drank iced tea and lemonade. Val, thank you for bringing me back to that. Now, now we're going to go back to this aging topic that we've been on. You know, because again, like I said, I'm 43 years young, about to be 44 at the end of the year. In December and there's a lot of things that is just different now we're gonna talk about these new hairs and I don't know about you ladies but I have hair that is disappearing in places and I have hair that is emerging in places that never been for example I have like you said more facial hair than I used to have Don't know where it came from. I'm getting hair on my knuckles, on my arms. I never had to shave my arms. I never had to shave my arms my whole life, but now I have to shave hair off my arms, which is hair I never had before. I never shaved my legs ever because I don't even get enough hair on my legs. Probably shave my underarms every other month or something like that. But as I'm getting older, it seems like the hair is coming in different places. And the chin hairs, 
Mine are like a blonde looking color, which is so bizarre to me. And it is like almost my whole face I feel like I have on it now. The hair where my widow's peak is at is like increasingly getting to be more and more hair. Eyebrows, lip hair. I nair my hair off. Yeah, Sheila King is my mom and Aisha King Wyatt is my sister. That's my real blood family. They're in a lot. That's my MKW crew. Um, and you probably saw them in my lives or in videos and stuff because we always are in videos together. Because this is a family channel, so you will oftentimes see most of the people, well, all of the people that are in my videos are my family. It's my mom, my sister, my sister husband, which is my brother, my husband, and my children. So all my family are in the videos. And yes, Val, I can relate with that chin hair. Let me tell you something. I get that long black hair that comes out of the side of my cheek now. Bizarre, but it happens. And it's real. And it has to be removed. I keep my clippers on deck. As y'all can see, the the meat is starting to get the meat is starting to get brown and this is almost really done so i might just plate this up because i didn't have dinner yet and um make myself something to eat because i've been like really loving like croutons and thousand island lately i don't know why so guys i'm gonna let this stay warm i'm gonna walk away to the stove because i need to heat the stove up I need to heat the stove up so I can make my gravy so don't go anywhere No problem, Lucy. There's no problem with showing respect. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, guys. So I already did this. And you can't see it. Hold on. I cut up my salad. Cucumbers are very good for you. And so is tomatoes. I don't know if you guys know this, but tomatoes is good for blood sugar. It helps to bring your blood sugar down. Guys, I might not even make gravy. I might just do soy sauce because I'm hungry. I'll make the gravy later. I'm gonna. Can I just do that? Alright guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this off of the griddle, mix it into my noodles, and then I'm going to plate this up and then I'm going to give myself dinner because I have not had dinner yet. I 
Okay, guys, here we go. We're taking it off. The onions, the pork. We're going to get this all off of here. I shouldn't be using these metal tongs on here because it's a non-stick surface and it's going to like scratches it, but it's easier to use that than try to use a, a spoon or something. I burnt my hand trying to get stuff out this little thing here. Here's all that. I can move this up out of the way. Here it is. The mixture. I'm mixing it all up. Getting it nice and juicy. You can put as much as gravy you like or or not as much. I'm gonna get me a plate here and get the other stuff so I can see here and have dinner although it's late and I shouldn't even be eating this late, but it is what it is. Alright guys, I'm getting everything set up so I can make sure we do a mukbang. I'm still hanging out with you guys. So let's lift that up. Guys, I got my pajamas on. Ooh. Let me hear this again. Okay, you can't see me, so I gotta fix it. Yeah, I'm looking a little crazy, guys, but oh well. I'm looking weird. I got my little pajama outfit on. My PJs. And you still can't see my face. Alright. Okay, let's do this three times so you can't. Okay, here I go. I'm sitting down. Hi guys, I'm here. Oh yeah, I love tacos. I got my Thousand Island dressing, guys. I'm gonna take my glasses off. Okay, no. I'm gonna keep my glasses on. Yes, here I am. Here I am, guys. So... I got my Thousand Island dressing, right? And here's my food. I'm about to plate it up so you guys can see it. There's the noodles. And mind you guys, yes, I'm trying to be a little healthy. Wheat noodles. I'm going to be totally honest, guys. I don't know the difference between wheat noodles and regular noodles, they taste the same to me. And somebody's gonna say, no, they don't. To me, they do. I'm gonna slide back here so I can get a I 
I'm gonna move my, I'm like sliding all around this kitchen here. All right, I'm gonna move this over. And then I'm gonna put on my veggies, veggie, veggie, veggies. And guys, look. This is olives. I like olives. I don't know how this thing opens. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I'm just flipping it all open. Try to get my olives out. Oh no, guys, you like owls? I love them. Mm. I got them from the dollar store. See that? Love them all. I'm going to put my thousand island in here. Hey, so. say Simon is here using my um Val yes guys so I'm just eating dinner it's late at night but I'm hungry I have to eat so here we go yeah they do taste the same to me here it goes so Here's your bite. Yum, 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 yummy. For your tummy. Mmm. Look. It is good. The onions, the meat, the soy sauce is not too much. It's not overwhelming. But guys, I also get a um low sodium soy sauce mm. and see olives tomatoes cucumbers I love olives. Guys, this was not my plan to like turn into a mud thing, but I am hungry and I want to eat. So guys, tell me what you have for dinner. I knew my mom was gonna say that. I knew she was gonna say olives now. She don't like olives. Nobody likes olives, guys, but me. My mom don't like it, my sister. Nobody in my house. I'm sorry, I love them. I love the way they taste. I think they taste so good, especially in the salad. Who likes the olives? Is it just me? Do I just like olives? I love them. I love them. That's so nice, Val.
Yeah. Yeah. Then you say you was having tacos. Now you should save your tacos for tomorrow. Hey. Hey, family. My cousin is here, guys. Mm. I'm cooking and eating. It's Kenyatta, Mom. They just said hi to you. Guys, you never know who's going to stop fishing live. I'm hungry. You're right, Miss T. I was not going to eat, but I had to. And I'm going to be honest, I really... Oh, I love nachos. I got a video. I'm putting a video out this week of me doing nachos. I'm putting nachos this week. Let me tell you. I love nachos too. And guys, when I'm looking on the side, that's because I'm looking at the um, looking at the chat on my computer, because my phone is a ways away from me. So drink, guys. And my cheers cup, guys. I found these cups. I think I got four of them. I found them at a thrift store that I go to. But I ended up breaking two of them. So I only got two left. You don't like the pit? Because you already know what I'm drinking. I'm having a, um, a Delt cocktail. I'm drinking um, Tito's and ginger ale. I'm eating real savage right now because I am hungry. So that's my drink. And it's pretty good. I really like it a little. I told you I've been loving Thousand Island lately. Tasty mutt bang. I wasn't supposed to do a live, I mean, a mutt bang, but I was making food and I said, What the heck? I'm hungry. I cannot wait. I'm not going to do a video. I'm already live. I might just go live in. Yeah, I love Thousand Honors too. I'm making a mess, guys. Yes, I like French, too. So 
so I, I was just saying earlier how I have soft because you wasn't here. I have decided, as you can see, you see my hair, right? I have decided to not to dye my hair anymore. I decided to embrace my gray. I'm not dyeing my hair anymore. Yeah. I'm just tired of fighting against it. So, I'm going to let my hair and let my gray grow in. And leave it and leave it be. I'm taking my nails off not because I want to, but I broke a nail really bad. Thank you, Tasty. I was just saying earlier that, you know. It took me a while to embrace it. Yeah, I, I, I'm tired of fighting with it. For me to maintain my hair where it's not gray, it means I have to dye my hair every four weeks. And I just don't want to do that. I'm tired of worrying about it. I'm trying to cover it. So I just made a decision to say, boop, be gone, die. I'm not going to keep fighting with it. As you can see, it looks like I got like powder on it, but oh well. You right, Tasty. It's not healthy. I stopped perming my hair years and years ago. And that's the only thing that I didn't stop was the dye because I really like color. But it's more of a headache now than, you know. And I struggle with my locks with dyeing it because each time I dye my hair, it changes the uh, texture of my hair, which makes it harder for my hair to lock, which makes it just a, a headache. Oh, he is asleep. He has to go to work in the morning. He wasn't alive. But he left. He went to bed. He has to go to work tomorrow. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that, Luffy. Yes, we'll be praying for your friend, Luffy. That's that's sad to hear.
I can't imagine losing my mom. Although she's a pain in the butt. <laughs> I love my mom now. I just said that because I know she's in the live. She's probably still in here. Losing a parent is very hard. I don't wish it on nobody. Sorry for where I'm in. I'm eating savage style. I waited too long to eat. I know my mom is probably going to say something about that too. Did you see that? My olive. You know what I think is so weird? Yes, yes. You do need to go eat. So I don't know where you at, Tasty, with timing, but it's in New Jersey. It's ten o'clock. I don't know if you on Eastern Standard Time, but it's late. I shouldn't even be eating. It's late, but I had to eat. Oh, it's nine o'clock. So you one hour behind. Well, more than an hour. One hour. You in Houston, so you one hour behind me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna take my glasses off. You love me, Mom. I love you too. Mom, you should bring me some great wine tomorrow. So, guys, I don't know if you have it where you live, if you drink wine or not. But Gallo has a great flavor of wine. It's so good. You don't like crawfish, uh, Tasty? Let me tell you something about crawfish. Crawfish have a very good taste. But the amount of meat that's in it just drives me insane. It's kind of like... Eating blue crab. And I hate to say blue crab because blue crab... To me, tastes better than all the other crabs. I can't do it. Yes, too much work for a little pet. Yes, it is. Bye, Luffy. Good night. Tell Teddy good night, too. See you guys next time. See you guys next time. <sighs> yes, guys. So here is my, as you can see, you can't really see it good. My pork yacht. 
I'm going to take a picture. I should take a picture of my plate. I messed up. But whatever. Pork yak. Good night. See you next time. Yes, guys. I'm not going to be on here much longer. Yes, it was homemade. Yes, it was. Homemade pork yak with onions. Okay, Tasty. See you next time. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Guys, I'm not going to be on here much longer. Mom, you should um you should come stop by or something. And Luffy saying good night to you, Mom. Luffy, I'm gonna just say good night for her, cause by the time she typing in, you'll probably be gone. Oh my God, boy! Oh, go ahead, Mom. I don't know if y'all know Spy Tube. If you guys wanna hang out a little longer, go to Spy Tube's channel. Um, Tasty, I'm so glad you came. I really appreciate it so much. I really do. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Kenyatta. I'm glad you came. See you next time. Guys, I'm going to say bye. I'm going to say bye. Because I think I'm ready to go to bed. Until next time, guys.